Okay, here we go. A little test for editing. Hopefully it works out. Let's see. How am I supposed to check this? How do I get to it? No? Live dash, come on. Live dash, come on. Live dash, come on. Okay, you don't want to hear that, sorry. Uh Fuck it. Make it public. It's not a LUT, by the way, just for the record. That is merely a correction for my vlog profile. That looks pretty good, to be honest. Doesn't look too bad. I really don't get how to find my live. Found it. Sweet. Oh, that's not what I wanted to go to, brother. Sorry, I'm on my other monitor right now. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's not either. Okay, there we go. Now we're set up here. Yeah, so I'm just doing a little bit of color correction right now. Nothing too major, to be honest. Uh, you know what, I should just come up here.
What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Alright. There we go. Color card for all my vlog. And bring down those shadows. Bring up that highlight. Bring up that highlight even more. Bring out the colors. Bring down the shadows. You kind of want to mesh them together pretty well. I mean, obviously the green in this is a little brighter because of the sky, but so that's normal. Sorry, I have a fan on. Hopefully it's not too loud, but here we have a shot of him, Osman, rolling down the street. And highlights from the sky are a bit blown out in this one, so that's what I'm going to do here. Seems a little dark. Oh, that's all right. It's much better than before. I mean, take a look at this shit. Oh, that wasn't. That's before. This is after. With all the. Oh, that's after. Try doing this again. You know, what? I'm gonna do it. Sorry, I talk like in my mind. Oh shit, I'm when I'm doing this, so. Apologize. The highlights are pretty bright in this one, so. Fuck, this one's hard. Alright. <laughs> uh, this one might just have to be pretty simple, like that. Copy paste the metric color onto this one. Let's see if that what that does. All right, it's not what I wanted. Highlights are blown out, so shadows. Oh, this is weird. The sky is kind of reflecting weird on the car. Bring down the highlights. Bring down the shadows just a bit. Bring up the mids. Bring down a shadow. That's better. Yeah, that looks much better. Maybe the tail lights really stand out in this one to be honest. <laughs> Let's try this one again. Just gonna bring it down slightly. Bring it down slightly. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, those mesh much better together. I don't know if anyone's really watching this, but you, if you are, comment, give it a like, whatever you want. I'm just curious. This is a sort of a little test that I'm doing, just to see if anybody would want to watch me live edit. We'll see, you know. See, this one is weird only because of the sticker. The sticker sh reflects a lot of light, so if I bring down those highlights a bit, even the shadows just a bit. Yeah, that's a nice like vignetting. That's almost a vignette right there, to be honest. It looks really nice, though. And this one, this one's tricky because I, uh, I want this to stick out, right? This part here the sticker uh, but it is difficult because it's on glass and glass does not like to show color well so yeah there we go I could do that even bring up the shadows just uh, I could bring down the shadows you know that's not bad but I feel like that's too dark and the white balance is off too. 
So I'm gonna go here. Boost it up just a bit. That's all right. Like, just needs a little more uh, pink. It's better. I don't even know how well you can see this, but. Sorry, just taking a second. All right, so this color correction, or sorry, this white balance isn't bad. I just want to see. Yeah, it, it's, apparently it's pretty perfect, but I would like to check. Curves. Bring on the highlights a bit. Bring on the shadows a bunch. Bring on the highlights a little more. Darken the edges. Not bad. This one's a little tricky, but shadows are easy because they were boosted. Boosted. <laughs> bring up the overall. It's a little too much. Then bring down the shadow. It's a little green, I'm not going to lie, but that's just because of the grass. So we'll fix that in a minute. Back to basic. Let's see what it does for auto. Yeah, that's better, to be honest. <laughs> I should be playing some music or something, my bad. Give me a second. Sorry, this music's gonna go fucking annoying. In between. Come on. So weird how sensitive my mic is. I guess if you guys are watching, you kind of get to preview what songs I'm using next. The highlights right here are kind of annoying me. That's okay though, that's actually pretty good. It's not bad. Again, white balance is freaking out. Select 
Too much pink. That's good though. Okay, this shot. It's a little blown out. So. Take down the highlights in between 95. Take down the shadows a bunch. Take down the highlights even more. And even. No, that's too much shadow. Probably about there, to be honest. Pretty good. The white balance seems a little bit off, but. I'll fix white balance later. Fuck! It. No, you know what? I can do it easily right now. He has a white plate. I'm happy. In here might be okay. It says it's okay though. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go with that. Um, this shot that was a leaf. That's not just an error. That's a leaf. Did I just play again? Nope. That's the song I'm using for this edit. Okay, it's lagging a bit. It's lagging a bit. All right. Shadows need to come down quite a bit. That's good. Bring the uh, mids up a bit. Shadows down. That's pretty good. That looks alright. What do you think, Matt? What are you thinking? I know you exist here. Give me some input. There's some rollers. Some rollers with some audio in the back. I've, I've really been looking to color. I've been really. Oh my god. I've been really looking forward to color correcting this edit. Only because. Sorry, I'm still messing with the volume. It's, it's fucking off. It's pretty good there. That looks pretty decent. Matt, let me show you the before and after I learned this trick, how to color grade log footage. So this is this is after all of the... Uh, I saved it as a preset, but basically you have to input a bunch of values to bring out the real color in Vlog. So this is what it, this is what it looked like before. This is what it looked like before. And then once you add the effects, it's like it's a gamma correction and also like it brings out color within the flat profile. This is after. And that's not even touching curves or anything, but basically it's a it's how you change saturation. Yes, I can see you on chat. Take that in though, like it goes from so flat to looking so much fucking better. This is the first video I'll be doing with that technique, so um, the color grading is going to look a lot better in this video than it has. Check out that roller though. You hear that? Yeah, sorry, it's a bit laggy, but it is what it is, right? Can't, because I'm streaming and I'm fucking, you know. Thing. Is the music too loud in the background? This shot was weird. I accidentally got this shot and decided to use it. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Look how blown out the fucking sky is. Let's see what we can do here. Ah, it's just not bad. It's not bad. But. We are gonna have to boost some shadows here, boys. No, that's too much. That's too much. That's not bad there. What do you think? It's not terrible. That's fucked. That is fucked. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll, it's funny what curves can do, eh? It's fucked. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Matt. You're helpful, eh? 
This sky though, it has it doesn't look bad even though it's overexposed. Mm, fuck, I want to bring those shadows down more, but I can't. It'll it'll peak black. I'm previewing in one eighth, but oh, but there's a change. The trees got a lot darker, but it still looks fucking sick. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear on YouTube, but we're ha it's happening. As long as this. This edit's not that long, I'm gonna be honest. It's like a minute twelve. <sighs> and then here's just a little, there was a dip in the music where I had to cut. It, it was transitioning to another beat, so I had to make, it's not, it's not moving for some reason. Okay, anyway. Come on. Chug, chug. Alright, so there's this shot. It's a lot shorter than the rest of the shots here, as you can see. It's only about this short. Couple seconds. Actually, a couple milliseconds, but it's a transitional piece in between this part of the music. And you'll see why in the final edit. But I can't really showcase that right now. Properly. Too much. That's good. Alright, and we're back to the original shoot location. I feel like I didn't get enough rollers to transition through things, which is why this edits almost all over the place. Hey, my mic. No, it's good, it's good. If you can hear my fan in the back, it's my fan. Mm. Shot's hard. It's too much contrast there. That's good. I like that. Actually, a lot of this stuff I shot was overexposed at the time because I couldn't see my monitor, <laughs> so I couldn't see my exposure meter, but that actually helped in certain places with shadows. That's what vlog helps for, thank god. That's good. Looks amazing. It's just, it's fucking, I, I, I'm just blown away how much difference, like, vlog makes. It's crazy. I don't understand that. This one's a little blown out here. I kind of want to post the fact that I'm streaming on social on my Instagram, see how many people watch, but um, I don't know how I'd post it. Should I just post the thumbnail of the? I don't even know if you're still watching, but I guess. You're not working. I mean, you don't work, so. This one's difficult. It's alright. That's alright right there. Bring down the shadows just a bit. probably okay okay this shot the engine bay was pretty dark and I had to overexpose his hood so let's see what we can do with this this one's gonna be almost unsalvageable to be honest but let's see let's see let's see I'm trying to see let's see yeah yeah no I don't know if this shot's gonna be really Proper to be honest. Fuck. I hope people can forgive that. <laughs> uh, it probably, people probably won't even notice, to be honest. It's not that bad. 
as much as I want to like brighten this area up, it's impossible without brightening this up. So, I mean, I could use a mask, but do I want to do that? I've never done that before, so let's try it. This is a gay song. No, I don't even know how to use masks. I lied. Nobody's gonna. We're not. We're just gonna forget that ever happened. So. Matt, check this. Uh, check this little song out here. Ah, no. That's about the best I can do. It's alright. It's good there. I'm gonna I'm gonna post it on my Instagram real quick. Hold up, give me a sec. Sorry, social media break. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard too. I have a mechanical. It's really loud. That's not where I want it to go in Dropbox. Thanks, Dropbox. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Live. All right. All right, let's see how many people I can bring. Okay, let's get, let's continue. 
this is about the second last clip I will be color correcting. Doesn't mean I'm done editing because I still got a lot left to do. Not just for this, for Usman, but for, ooh, this one's gonna be hard. This one is very, very overexposed. I can salvage it. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not terrible. Yes, it is, Usman, that is you. I'm just color correcting your car currently. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I just I just felt like I love you too. I just felt like showing you because it's your car, you know. <laughs> so might as well. But. That's not bad. Is this? Is this shot out of focus? I'm cheese. Oops. Let's try this again. Uh, let me down a bit. That's better. Alright, I don't know what, what just happened there, but for some reason I was not enjoying the look. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. All right, I just finished color correcting your thing, so it's all it's all color graded, looking pretty nice. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's just um, it's at the shop currently, and it's getting the timing belt replaced because the fire melted right through it, and a couple coolant lines. But when when do you want me to come to Alberta with you? That's, that is a large, that's a large trip. All right, I'm gonna transfer this over to After Effects real quick, sorry. I could just control aid. Friday. Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm working Saturday. Sorry, man. You're going already? I can't. I'm working. Oh my god. That's a f that was fast, man. I didn't expect... When am I free? Not really any time. Just because... What is it? Like a four-day trip back? For a few days. I'm not really available any weekends because work's scheduling me hard. Well, yeah, if you're driving, maybe it's less. Uh... I totally would, but I'll have to see what I'm doing regarding work. Oh, we're not going to look at that. That's cheap. We can close Premiere in a minute. I think I already played this song.
I wish I could just live stream every day. Honestly. I wish I had the time. I, w I wish people watched. <laughs> but, uh, sorry, my mic's probably a little loud. Should probably turn that down just a bit. That's probably alright right there. Loading. Uh, the sequence is loading up right now. try to listen to my stream to make sure the audio is fine to be honest. Oh it's fine. There's some music just a bit. So this is loaded. We're turning that down to a quarter as soon as it lets me hold Jesus is trying to break me. Okay, so obviously the color grading isn't applied here because I'm not even going to be exporting through After Effects, I believe. Wow, I love how fast After Effects is. Alright, so I found this little pack thing. Basically, to save me a lot of time, it has transitions already built into it, which is pretty sick. Like, look, that's sick, all right? But it basically goes on each clip if I wanted to. So I just wanted to apply a couple transitions to make my edits a little better. So we're going to check out some glitch transitions here. Uh, nothing too um, serious or anything, but just some stuff to add a little bit to the video, of course. I want to glitch for this little transition here. For some reason it always does this, don't understand. So if I wanted to put a transition here, say, oh man, thanks for the thanks for that comment. But <laughs> you used to do gaming videos. I didn't even know you game to be honest. What? What did you play? I can close Premiere now. Just nice. Yes. I don't think I have to keep Premiere open for this. Uh, what do you like the best here? Ooh, there's a. Hmm. No, I don't like that. It's too much. RuneScape. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I didn't think you were much of a RuneScape player. That's kind of nice. This will load. It takes a minute to load, but it's... I feel that? You should continue again more, man. I don't play RuneScape, but, you know. Alright, I've seen it. I've seen it played. Wow, this is taking a long time to load right now. <laughs> what the f this is just ridiculous. 
I need more RAM. I'm like maxing on my RAM almost right now. I have 16 gigs of DDR4, which is like a million times better than 16 gigs of DDR3, which I used to have when I was editing, but now my computer is a lot better. But I think I need to add another 16 gigs because my computer at work is uh, it loads a lot faster because that thing has like 20, 28 gigs or something. 32 gigs would be nice. It does not usually take this long to load, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Alright. So, this is how simple it is. I just take this. I don't even know if this is a transition I want, but I basically put it right here. Where it says peak. And once it loads... Take a minute. This is weird. Where's my preview? Oh, it's coming up. I see it. There we go. Basically... It's got a it's got a RAM preview, but there we go. It's not gonna be that slow. Don't worry. Okay, that's no, I don't like that. It's too much black. Um, that's uh, do I like? That's too much. You see how much like overkill that could be? That's that's not bad. See, how, like that's very subtle. I like that. Yeah, I'll do that one. Oh. Okay. Another waiting time. Not bad. I can See, that's that's how long it usually is. Not bad. But I think it's just because I'm streaming. It's going to take a minute. If you guys were, uh, I don't know how many people are actually watching right now, but I just color corrected this edit. This isn't the color correction. It does not look like that, just for the record. It looks a lot better. So this edit will actually be coming out, hopefully tonight. I mean, if I can get this, if, if I can get these transitions to load, it'll be done by tonight for sure. What is going on? There we go. That took a while for some reason again. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could just stream on YouTube. Play some games, get some edits done. Where's my preview? There it is. So this should be pretty subtle. Yeah, it has an RGB split, which I like. It just has to load, that looked weird without it loading. That was too short. See, I'm very particular about what I do to this thing. Because... I'll just go... Okay. It's too It's too short. I don't... I don't know, bro. It's too... I don't know if a glitch is right for this. Too much for that. There, I'll, I'll, I'll move on to something else because I don't like this. I don't like where this is transitioning. I did want to add transitions when the rollers hit. Sorry, I uh, just burped. <laughs> okay, so from here. Is that? Okay, from. Am I on fast drive? No, I'm not. Wow, I was on final quality. Holy Jesus Christ. 
Okay, so from that clip to that clip, I'd like some sort of transition. Something here, maybe. Yeah, I like that. Let's try that. I hate how long these transitions take to load. But, it is what it is. If I, it does save me time. Obviously I don't have to make them every time, but I just need more RAM. If I'm gonna start using these. The reason why I never had transitions before is because it was almost too complicated to make transitions like this, which is always what I wanted to make. And you know what? I need to say, remind, I uh, don't remind me, I know what I have to do. I have to extend this and then save changes. So this workspace. So this stays open the whole time basically. Because I don't care how small the preview is, I understand. Transitions there. Ooh, that's freaking longer than the damn clip. I need to make it shorter. See ya. I have to, uh, uh, you know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sorry. Let me take off the music. My bad. That sounds so weird when it re freaking renders. No, that's not bad. That should work. After it's done rendering. Your car sounds like a helicopter right now. Alright. Let's see. It's trying to render. It's doing its best. Nope, see the audio is off now. Obviously there's no music so it doesn't uh, look serious but... Let's, let me try adding music, hold up. Gonna have to do the audio. It's not bad. Kind of like that. What do you think? Are you still? Are you even still here? Like, I need your opinion on this because this is your edit. Oh, oh, we're frozen. We're frozen. All right, there we go. Hold up. After Effects freaking unloads on my computer. Alright. No, no, no. This, the color, this isn't the final color. This isn't, this is a uh, pre-color. Because it won't show in After Effects because it's on Lumetri and Premiere. Basically, it's hard to explain, but I'm working between two programs right now. Thanks, man. Okay. If I went back to Premiere, the color would be much better. 
it's just hard to explain. Basically, I kind of want to put a transition here as well in between these two clips, but I wouldn't know what to put. Just something small. Something small. Instead of simple. Maybe an impulse. That's too big. Yeah, just something short like that might do. Yeah, don't worry, the color is not going to be like that, trust me. Yeah, it's going to look a lot better. kind of nice though when I load this exact preset everything under shake will work flawless like perfectly at the first start. it's just loading the preset so that's the actual 3d it'll uh, it'll make working a lot faster if I start using the same transitions I just have to let it load Come on. I know this might be a little boring to watch at this moment, but uh, <laughs> sorry. I just gotta get this done, boy. Gotta get that out. I haven't been able to edit anything because I have work. Oh. I had work yesterday. I, I edit almost every day. It's kind of crazy. hate it. I don't hate it. I love it. But... This is what I hate about it. Waiting for forever for this to just man up. and I think it's just frozen now. I, think, I honestly think it's just frozen. Oh. <sighs> What is going on? It's so hard to hit this little button. After Effects, please. Oh. 
Oh my god. Take an eternity. I don't understand. I'm, on, I'm even on fast travel. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to close her out. Hold up, let's see if we get to save though. Oh my god. If I have to do this again, I'm gonna be cheating. Anyway, here, I'll just show you the- I'll show you the color first. So it looks a lot better in Premiere. Let it load, let it load. What the hell just happened? I hate what is happening right now. What do you mean? All right, I guess I have to go back to After Effects. I lied. Something went wrong in between things, so. Oh, that's right. I didn't mean to save it here. Uh oh. Might have an issue. Give me a minute on the side. That was stupid of me. Alright man, see you later. Sorry, I was I was reading something, but thanks for thanks for coming.
Okay. Okay, sequence zero one that should be it. I really hope no. I'm cheesed. I'm actually che I'm actually upset right now. That fucked the whole thing, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Did it? What's happening? What's going on right now? What? Something's not right. Okay, no, what just happened? I'm sorry, but I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> oh man. Here we go. I do have to color correct it all over again, so that's kind of bullshit, but it is what it is, right? Just want to make sure everything's the same. If it would freaking load the media, please. What's happening right now? There, okay. God, all my color corrections gone. I'm mad. I don't even know what happened, bro. <sighs> I might need to take a break from this. I just need to make sure this end clip is literally the same as it was so I can finish for a bit. I'm actually upset. Okay, what? I, I, I don't think people understand what just happened. Basically, I opened this composition in After Effects. Open up a new composition. After Effects crashed. So my original, like, sequence is now gone. Where I did all my color correcting and shit. So I had to go back to uh, an, an autosave that happened earlier. And that autosave happened before I did all my color correcting. But... It seems as though it, it, uh, it auto-saved right before I did that. This is the last thing I did last night. Just that. And, but all my color's gone. I hope the sequence is the same because I'm gonna, oh my god, it's not even the freaking same. Oh my god! Alright, I. What just happened? It's a res yes. What do you think this is? It's not a joke. Getting upset now. Sorry guys. Oh, it's not even where I want to start. I could adjust everything now. This is stupid.
that's the same. 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 All, all the rollers are the same. I'm not that far behind from where I was, but I'm gonna save every two seconds now. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna call it correct quickly. It's not gonna be as nice as it was, but. Whatever. It just did this to me. I can't believe it just did this to me. At least we got some nice music in the background to uh, help my mood. I'm not mad. I guess I can do it again. I didn't really feel the color correction the first time, I'm gonna be honest with you. So, it's not bad. This was sort of just a test stream anyway. I just wanted to see how many people would actually want to watch me edit. Lights really stand out here. Check that out. Let's look how one nice. You know what? This isn't that bad only because uh, now I can go back and fix things that I didn't before. This, I'm not really paying attention to the scopes right here because I want this to stand out and then the area around it to be vignetted so I'm kind of darkening it more than it would be regularly but you don't always have to follow the scopes I never did on shots like these yes but this is different now I gotta be down on the highlights This looks weird. I don't know what just happened. I say that a lot, by the way. What the hell is happening? It's fine. That's okay. The white balance looks pretty good on all of these, so I'm gonna be honest with you. So, I'm a fan. The 
blues are high with this one. I'm gonna fix that. what auto has to say about that. It's a little better. It's alright. It's pretty good. Now I'm just salty because I lost my previous color correction. I guess I like over its square footage. This one's really overexposed. We can fix that right now. Check that out. Tell you right now, it was a lot better than it was before. Yeah, it looks great. Anyone doesn't understand why I'm so monotone right now, I will explain in a minute.
I just lost it. Always editing. You've done video before, you know the struggle of losing shit you've already done. Trust me. It's with anything, really. Say you did something and you put effort into it. And then you just lose it. You don't have to do it all over. It's annoying, right? This shot took a minute, okay, to edit, to color correct, because it was so overexposed on the edges and I didn't even get it right. Because it's impossible, the whites are too blown out. But I'm hoping I can maybe do something here. It's all right. Like honestly, it's it's too difficult. I can't salvage that. I could do actually. I lied. Oh, wrong. That's not what I want. It's 4K, so. Makes it a little bit easier. Didn't even think about that the first time. See this? It's good that I'm doing it a second time. I just I know what I can do now. What kind of music do you guys like? If anyone's here. Highlights on this though are so blown out. It's okay, that's good. Just do a little double save there. Good old S curve, very slight S curve. That's that. It's one more time done. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a new sequence. 
We're gonna call this one 4K69, sure. It's not gonna be called anything yet. Hello. This is Cinema 4K. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. I completely forget the numbers. 29, That doesn't look right. Nope. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> oh, twenty one sixty, my bad. Totally. So the sequence is all here. We're all good. So we have the original sequence. But this one we're gonna call after Effects. The reason I'm doing this is to prevent what happened last time. This one's going to After Effects. Oh, actually it's not, because my audio is gone. That's what was missing. So now I have to find the original sequence. I just saw it, I just saw it. Oh, this is the original, original sequence. Alright, well we have to do audio again too. I guess I'll do that after. Alright, well I'm I'm good for now. That can be the final product there. Not the final product, but the final product without transitions there. So the only reason it took me an hour is because I had to freaking do it twice. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. That was kind of cool. Uh, I've never done that before, and I enjoyed it. Maybe I'll do some more, because I have one more edit to do. Not today, but soon.